let the redeemed of the Lord shout a wonderful hallelujah that hallelujah is standing on one leg I want you to jump up and rise on your feet and shout hallelujah amen please be seated Pastor Dari, my husband, was a wonderful person. He was amazing in every sense of the way. I do not mourn him at all. I weep because he left me. He slept. He did not die. He did not die. And I know, I am sure, because on the resurrection morning, he will rise again and we will see him in glory. I'm sure because he was saved. I'm sure because he believed in Christ his salvation was sure it was certain he said if I die today I know I am fulfilled I have done what the Lord has asked me to do he was not afraid of death he was not afraid it is not a matter of how short it is not a matter of time but how well and he lived well he lived a good life he lived to the glory of God he lived, he served God. His life was dedicated to Christ. And that is why I, I am sure that he is in heaven. I am sure that he made it. And I want to say, brethren, today, that if you are not sure of your salvation, if you are not sure that if you sleep tonight you might not wake up tomorrow you are not sure of where you will be in eternity you have not given your life to Christ at all if you are here today you heard and perhaps you just came to see yes it's true he is sleeping in the Lord But are you sure of yourself? Are you sure of where you will be? Are you sure of eternity? You haven't given your life to Christ? Or perhaps you did. And, take, and took it back from him. I want you to raise your right hand this evening. If you are not sure of your salvation, you are not sure you are going to sleep in the Lord. You are not sure of where you are going to end up. You are afraid to die because you are not living a holy life. If you are afraid to die because you are not saved, because the devil is still in control of your life, I want you to raise your right hand up this evening. Wherever you are, just raise your right hand up. Raise it up and let the Lord save you today. Don't be ashamed. Don't be shy. You are not going to die. You are not going to die. I want you to be saved just as my husband was saved. I want you to make it. I want you to be sure of yourself. I want you to live your life fully for Jesus. I want you to rededicate your life to him if you, if you, are, if you were once saved. I want you to tell him, Lord Jesus, I come before you today. Please save me. I want to surrender my life back to you. Help me because I cannot do this on my own. That if you come before tomorrow morning, I will reign with you in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Thank you everyone that have come to honor God in his life. Thank you for coming. And I pray that the Almighty God will reward us all in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord.
thank you everybody for this evening um mine is not scripted so i don't know how long i have because we can be here forever really want to appreciate all those who have come to stand with us and honor us um please a round of applause for them because it's uh, we're not taking this for granted uh, so pastor Dari, um i'm the least in the family um but then of course i'm also the biggest um it goes by it goes by name um Amigio named me olua to be loba so if i'm big it is not my fault i'm just representing my god <laughs> with pastor diary we've done absolutely everything together um he came four years uh whew. we'll breathe we'll breathe we'll breathe with him he came four years ahead of me but um i'm always chasing him chasing him chasing him um <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll go past it. Just give me time. So every school he went to, I went to the same school. Nursery, primary. When we got to command, they became a head boy or house prefect or something. You know, everybody's chasing me everywhere. Why can't you be like your brother? Why can't you be like your brother? He punished me more than he punished all the other juniors because he's always expecting more from me than anyone else um and then he got a break to be able to go to england uh, we were both super skinny i would remember because we slept in the same place bunk bed up and down um with our wonderful sister sharing the room with us then pastor dolio had gone to joss or somewhere like that that was before when kidnapping was a standard way of living in nigeria <laughs> but uh he <laughs> As he was leaving, I told him, if I don't come along with you, your plane won't make it to that country. They will divert it somewhere else. So he reported me to our father and that allowed me to go with him <laughs> to England. When we saw the school fees for the two of us, then we started eating because we realized that when Daddy Joe sees the school fees, he will surely call us back home. So we therefore, if you notice some of the pictures, we got fat together very quickly as well um and then when we realized that uh <laughs> we were no longer coming back to nigeria it was too late we had already eaten everything possible to eat then when we start he started losing weight i followed him as well we got married on the same day um went through the same schools as well obviously a few years apart uh, december 28 um my wife was going to give birth exactly the same day as he had his own first daughter and me too i was having first daughter i had to kneel down and beg my wife let it just go past midnight by one minute so at least these children would be one day after the other it won't be the same december date um i've been chasing him i'll keep chasing him fantastic legacy um first school we got to in england school has been created since 1886 it became the first african the first nigerian head boy of that school and then he just continued and continued and continued if um you know ministry did not call us back to nigeria he would probably have been the first uh, black prime minister for england <laughs> But truly a fantastic life uh, to emulate um pastor d probably dresses better than anyone you would ever meet it's so difficult to give him an honorarium when it comes to your church because by the time you look at his dressing and you look at what you're holding in your hand you would have to rethink it <laughs> he will probably be the one having to give you an honorarium at the end of the ministration we love him we miss him and if i have seeds in the house we have our song what does it say I will never be come on ever ever I will never be why because I am too I am I I 
Yeah. 